Nicholas Cage is a fantastic man. He's the sort of guy who can dress up as a bear and punch a woman and still be universally loved. It seems he can do no wrong. Even with the countless string of offensively bad films behind him, he's still considered a god. But the sad thing is, when he actually makes an effort and puts in a genuinely good performance, people seem to miss it and go straight back to this. The Trust is not the pathetic straight-to-DVD Cage fare that the cover suggests. No, it's actually quite good. Cage plays Lieutenant Jim Stone, who, with his friend Sergeant David Waters, finds himself disillusioned and bored with his job at the evidence unit of the Las Vegas Police Department. When the pair learn about a drug dealer with access to large amounts of money, they decide to try and get some of it for themselves. After all, as the tagline suggests, bad cops make the best criminals. What do you think? What do I think? Yes. I think that guy has a friend with deep pockets. That's very deep. Very deep. I think that guy's getting a hand job. He's still eating, so it's hard to tell. Yes, The Trust is surprisingly good. Benjamin Brewer and Adam Hirsch's screenplay is great, keeping the plot moving along at a good pace and featuring some pretty shocking and unexpected turns. Each time you start to think to yourself, this is pretty formulaic, I know where this is going, the film basically gives you a great big FUCK YOU! The acting is solid too. Cage makes more of an effort than he usually does here, and Elijah Wood is decent, but, you know, it's still Elijah Wood. The Trust isn't going to amaze you, and it isn't going to turn Nicolas Cage's haters into devout Cagean disciples, but in a recent filmography that includes Pay the Ghost, Dying of the Light, and Left Behind, The Trust is certainly a rare highlight. Check out WeBuy.com for stock availability in your local sex, and while you're there, swing by our blog for more detailed written reviews of the latest films, games, and tech products.